Welcome again to this series of Broken But Not Destroyed. This is number six episode where I will be praying with you. I therefore believe that you have already gone through the five episodes that I've taught so much on uh, the broken but not destroyed, how to go through issues and still not be destroyed. And therefore, if you have not uh, gone through those episodes, please make sure you first of all go through that and then this episode will mean a lot because I am praying over the many things that I've already taught and I believe that God is going to answer these prayers and I'll be very happy to receive testimony and remarks and comments from you after the Lord responds to the prayers that I am going to pray for you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Apostle Paul from Turning Point Church, the altar of solutions here in Akuru, Kenya, and I am really very excited. God is the one who binds up the hearts of the brokenhearted. We already read that from Psalms 147. And I need you to know that except the Lord touches you in the area of pain, in the area that you have been most devastated, uh, there is uh, a, a, a man can only get up to so much. But God is the ultimate. The Holy Spirit is the one who can really recover you from that broken heartedness. He can recover you from that pain of betrayal, that pain of financial laws of marriage and so forth so I'll be praying with you and I want you to believe with me because uh, if you don't believe in prayer then you will be wasting your time but I know that this prayer is going to change someone's destiny in Jesus mighty name all right so join with me in faith as I make these prayers in Jesus name Psalms 31 verses 12 says I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind I am like a broken vessel. I want to pray for you that beginning this minute, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I am releasing grace, the grace of God, the enabling power of God to come upon you so that you'll be able to pick up the broken parts of your life in the mighty name of Jesus and you will no longer remain as a broken vessel. You shall no longer remain with a destiny that is shattered. I pray that right now every strength that you need to pick up the broken pieces, let it come upon you wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ. I recover the vision that you have lost. I recover the passion and the stamina that you need to be able to pick up the broken pieces of your life in the name of Jesus. Receive it in Jesus mighty name. I am praying for you according to Psalm 69 and verses 20 that says reproach has broken my heart and I am full of heaviness and I look for some to take pity but there was none and for comforters but I found none. I am praying for you that every spirit of heaviness that is brought about by the betrayals, by the pain, by the loss of a loved one, by a broken marriage, by a loss of business, every kind of heaviness that is in you, self-pity, and every kind of shame that you might have been treated to. Maybe you've gone through a terrible crime and you have been suffering for long. I am praying for you and I command that spirit of heaviness and shame and self-pity to disappear out of your life in the name of Jesus and I release the Holy Spirit upon you right now. Begin to receive the embrace of the Holy Ghost. Be comforted in the name of Jesus Christ. Reproach must expire in your life. I release the grace of God to cause that reproach to expire in your life in Jesus mighty name. I am praying for you according to Psalms 80 and verses 12. Why hast thou then broken down her hedges so that all they which pass by the way do pluck her. Today as I pray for you, I am removing you in the name of Jesus from the range of all misfortunes in the name of Jesus. You will no longer be a target of misfortunes in the name of Jesus. I put a hedge of fire around you. I put a covering upon you that is impermeable in the name of Jesus Christ. The last betrayal, the last pain, that is the last 
last one you will ever encounter. I release grace that will protect you from all forms of misfortunes in the name of Jesus Christ. I deliver you from patterns and cycles that have come from your family that have destroyed and devastated your destiny in the name of Jesus. Every satanic activity that has left you in a cycle of misfortunes, I rescue you by the Spirit of God right now and I pray for you according to Psalms 124 and verse 7 that says, our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. I decree that you are escaping from every intention and from every expectation and every will of any man or any demonic power in the name of Jesus Christ. You are escaping. You are escaping that grave that was waiting for you. It will not harvest you. You are going to live to declare the works of God. Every snare that the enemy set for you this year in the name of Jesus. I declare that snare broken in the name of Jesus Christ. It is safe with you. You are well. The hand of God is upon you right now and I pray for you according to Isaiah 24 and verse 10. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in beginning this minute, you will no longer live in confusion. You will no longer live a life where you don't know what you need to do. Receive grace to understand what you need to do next. Receive grace in the name of Jesus to walk without confusion, to live without confusion. I deliver you in the name of Jesus. You will not enter the city of confusion in the name of Jesus. I decree, may your mind receive divine clarity clarity right now in Jesus mighty name. I pray for you according to Genesis 50 and verses 20 where the Bible says as, but as for you ye thought evil against me but God meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day to save much alive. I pray today for you for supernatural reversal anything, any circumstance that came to you for evil to ruin your business to ruin your career, to ruin your marriage. May the power of God overturn it around. May the power of God reverse it for good in the name of Jesus. Because he says in Romans 8, 28 that all things work together for good. I pray may the good that the Lord can only see in that bitter situation, may it begin to receive life and may it begin to show up in your life wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you according to Psalms 38 and verses 5 that says my wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. Every injury in you that is in, appears incurable that has been stinking that has been pushing away opportunities that has been pushing away even strategic relationships around you. Today I release divine healing. I release divine healing for in your mind, in your heart, in the the name of Jesus receive healing, receive healing in the name of Jesus, any lack of knowledge that has made you to make wrong choices, receive divine recovery, I send divine recovery right now at the foundation of every wrong choice that you have made in the name of Jesus I'm beginning right now, may the anointing of God come upon you and set you free in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you according to Psalms 146 and verse 8 that says the Lord opens the eyes of the blind the Lord raises them that are bound down the Lord loveth the righteous I pray for you that every long term burden every long term pain that you have carried that has made you to be bowed down in your life today may the love of God lift you up may the love of God raise you up from that valley from that slippery route that you have been walking on 
God. May the hand of God recover you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because nothing is hidden from our God. I pray in the name of Jesus. The foundation of your pain, may it be broken right now. And I decree in the name of Jesus. Just as a tree can sprout forth again, may you begin to sprout forth again. May you begin to produce again. May you begin to be productive again. May you begin to love yourself again. May you begin to be connected afresh to better people in the name of Jesus Christ. I recover your faith. I recover your hope. I recover your vision in the name of Jesus. And may the breath of God give life to the potential that you carry in the name of Jesus. And I decree to you every expectation of the wicked it shall not come to pass in Jesus mighty name I am sending you the power of the Holy Spirit according to Psalm 69 and verses 20 that, that, that says reproach has broken my heart and I'm full of heaviness and I look for some to take pity but there is none and for comforters but I found none. Today you will find the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the everlasting comforter may he comfort you, may he make a way for you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. You have witnessed a lot of barriers in the name of Jesus Christ. I release longevity. I release grace to live long enough to fulfill scripture in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hand. May that become your own portion in the name of Jesus Christ. You have been treated to a series of pain and betrayal. But after this prayer, good things shall follow you. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. I release blessings upon the work of your hand. The new ideas that God will deposit in your spirit, may they bring profit. May they bring value addition in your life in Jesus name. I command divine helpers and I pray that any agent of darkness around your destiny, wherever they are stationed, may the thunder of God chase them out of your path from today in Jesus name. And every heart that was broken, receive a new heart. Receive a new heart. He says that he shall give us a new heart and a new spirit. Receive another heart, another heart that is resilient, another heart that will recover everything that you intended to do in the first place. May you recover your purposes. May the forgiveness of God enter into your system from every mistake, from every sin that you have done in Jesus' mighty name. It is well with you. Receive your healing now. Receive your breakthrough from now. In Jesus' mighty name, I've prayed. I believe God has heard that prayer. And now it is upon you to receive the testimonies, receive the breakthrough. And I'll be very, very delighted if you follow this page and subscribe so that you can be alerted every time we upload another video. God bless you so very much. Let me know what the Lord has done for you by making your own remarks and comments and even sharing every time you encounter a message that I've shared. God bless you. It is well with you. You have been broken, but you have not been destroyed. Continue living a life of victory. I love you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you so much.